Hi, good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rita Choi, founder of Asia HLM. Asia HLM is a professional community for human resources professionals to stay ahead of the curve, keep abreast of the latest HR information, trends, and best practices. And um, so, and from time to time, we organize a lot of activities just to add value to all our professionals in Asia, especially like the one that we have today. And we also have the sharing, monthly sharing sessions on different HR topics. And actually later on today, at two o'clock your time, we will have the monthly sharing session on the future of work for human resources. So you do have time, just join us. And our speaker is a global influencer in this topic from Singapore. And apart from that, we also have a lot of uh, uh, activities such as the um, uh, book club sessions. And also we have the WhatsApp group. All are welcome to join us. And as you know, as you know that Asia HLM is run by a group of volunteers. And we really want to do something great for our members or for our HR practitioners. That's why recently we have uh, implemented a membership tier. So let me explain a little bit about the uh, membership tier and thanks Zoom for, for having me this opportunity to explain to you all. Okay, so let me explain it so that you will know about it. Okay, so I hope everybody can see it. And basically we have four tier. One is a free membership meaning that the basic stuff is when you go to our website, you'll be able to see the uh, industry latest news. And also you'll be able to join our Facebook close group, our pay, uh, LinkedIn page, and also the Facebook page. And also we'll, we'll be getting referrals on a lot of quality human resources service. And this is what silver uh, membership will get. As for gold, basically apart from that, we also would uh, provide, we also, all the members will be given a uh, opportunity to join our monthly sharing session, like the one that we are going to have this afternoon. And also the mastermind session, like this one from Malaysia, we have country specific mastermind session and the Asia one, and as well as the book club sessions. And further down will be the, um, the platinum. So for platinum, uh, besides having all these benefits, we're also inviting everybody to, to join the WhatsApp group so that we, we can network with each other. And also, and we also allow them to let them to have job posting in order to increase the opportunities for, for everybody to, to get a job, right? And also we, um, the people, the, the participants for this tier will be getting the parental discount for any HR courses and activities. And of course, we also have corporate, corporate membership for having all these kind of um, benefits. Apart from that, they can also bring for representative from each uh, organization to join us. And of course, due to the pandemic and also the environment, you just feel free. We just want you to join us. And if you don't feel like paying any, you are, you are still welcome to join us. Just sign up and then show your support to us. Then we, we really appreciate that. Okay, so that will be my, my sharing about the membership tier program for Asia HLM. And I would like to pass the control to Jamie. Zhu, I think you're here, but you will not be, uh, be the host today, right? Understand that yes, Jamie yes. over so as the host for today. And I would like to pass the control to Jamie so that we can, we can have a wonderful mastermind session with the topic of uh, HLBP. Okay, thank you, Jamie. Can you unmute yourself, Jamie? Jamie. Thanks, Rita. Yeah, thanks, Rita. You're welcome. Yeah. So, uh, good morning, everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And selamat uh, Hari Raya Ma'af Zahir Batin. Not too late uh, to wish everyone selamat Hari Raya uh, for the Muslim. Okay, uh, today, let me go to the slide share first. Can you guys see the slide? Not yet. Can you see the slide? Not yet, not yet. Yes, yes. Yes, Jamie. Okay. Yes, yes, go ahead, Jamie. Can you see? Yes. Can yes. you see now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. all right, okay. 
Okay, uh, today's topic, yeah, we will uh, cover by our HRM master from Proton, yeah. Uh, Proton Ada, yeah, Mr. Rosalhat, that he will uh, share with us, yeah. His uh, experience, uh, his um, knowledge, and his competency uh, in driving HRBP at Proton. Yeah. And uh, we have, uh, after uh, Rosan's talk, we have a small discussion, team discussion uh, for about 20 minutes. And then we will call everyone and we get the facilitator for each group, yeah? not, not facilitator, team leader for each group to present. Then we wrap up. We expect by 11.30, we will fi finish this session. And I don't want to uh, dwell, yeah? because Rita uh, has uh, touched on the Asia HRM, and uh, probably if you have further details on Asia HRM, we will always can throw our question to Rita later. And without further ado, uh, we will invite Mr. Rosal Hart, yeah, General Manager of HRBP at Proton, to deliver his uh, presentation. Okay, uh, prior to that, uh, Mr. Rosal, let me uh, uh, introduce yeah, uh, a little bit about, yeah. probably uh, Rosal can introduce himself, yeah, uh, or better still, I will touch a little bit on uh, Rosal, then uh, he may want to add on if we have uh, further detail or we want to know more about Rosal, yeah. Mm. Right. Uh, for everyone's info, yeah, Rosal is currently the general manager of HRBP at Proton. He has over 21 years, as he mentioned earlier, as HR practitioner, graduated from UUM, probably some of you from UUM, with BBA, yeah, and later completed his master in HRM in 2019 from the same university, yeah, uh, UUM. Then in 2017, he joined Proton, where he's responsible for HR for sales and services division. And prior to that, he yeah, has been working with manufacturing uh, company from Germany, as well as Japanese firm. And uh, he did also yeah, responsible for human capital yeah, to ensure the overall setup of oxygen operation in high standard of human capital in Mercedes operation in fast-paced Japanese working environment. Of course, working with Japanese, yeah. All is um, continuous improvement, continuous improvement, continuous improvement. And currently, Rosan is also, uh, also part of the transformation team for Proton, where he has gained new international exposure, experience, and new working culture with a partner from China. Rosal, we hand over to you to deliver your presentation and to share with us yeah, your experience and knowledge. Rosa? All right. Thank you, Jamie. Hi. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, I'm not uh, really an expert. Okay, I just, uh, uh, just I'll about 10. share and then uh, you share your slide. Uh, okay, can, can, can. Okay. Hmm. You get it? I'm trying. Okay. The share screen and then you click on your slide. Okay. And can you see it? Can you see it? Nothing. <laughs> nothing, no, nothing, nothing. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay. Let me see. Eh? You click the share on your right hand button. Yeah, already, already, already click on it. Oh, already. Already click on it, but uh, nothing happened yet, yeah. Hold on, eh? Because I, I, I really knew in Zoom. Mm -hmm. you, you, you have to click on the green button. Yeah, already done, already done. And oh. then they come up with the... Oh. Uh, various selection, but with the exclamation mark. I'm not okay. sure why. You, you have to select uh, the. You have to select your, the screen, your which screen. Yeah. Select the slide that you want to show with us. To show what? to us. 
already select but uh, i believe you're not seeing it eh? Jamblet, do you have the slide? Maybe you can you can share from from your side, from your end. If you can share with me, then I can uh, help you to. I I the email to you. Oh, the email to I. Right. Let me let me. WhatsApp or email, Zul. Uh, both. Both. Okay. Hmm. Still cannot see, yeah. Uh, let me try. Dia nampak. Let me try. Sorry. Oh, so so while we are waiting for Raza's uh, 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 presentation materials, just so you know that today is the last day for the early bird for the platinum ship of US dollar for 15. But yeah, if you can sign up to that, that would be good. If you feel like not paying any, you are still welcome your participation. Okay. Hey, Rina, Rina. Yeah, Rina coming, Sharif. coming. The slide coming. Sorry. Rina Sharif, thank you for joining. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yes, my team are here as well. Four of my HRBPs are here. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much for supporting. Uh, Rita, I haven't Hi, seen Rita. you. Hi, How are you doing? Miss you Hi. so much. Yeah, you're always getting awards, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so glad that you know I meet Rita over here. It's been a long time. Are you still in Hong Kong? Uh, and she's always very busy, and she's always <laughs> yes. a lot of stuff and different mm -hmm. parts of the world, and she's. Uh, <laughs> Hi, everyone can see the slide now? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, you so you all, if you want, if you want to go to the next slide, just mention next, then I will. Jamie, okay. Jamie, okay. Tekan, okay. Tekan slide show, Jamie. All right. Jamie, click slide show. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Bawah dekat. Yeah, yeah. A little bit slow. It's okay. Sorry. Coming, coming. <laughs> <laughs> coming, coming, coming. Yeah, coming. It's, it's here. Coming. Yeah, we can see it. Is it? Uh, yeah, we can see it. It's nice. Not, yeah, very nice. Can you can see now? Uh, yeah. Not like yeah. sure yet. Yes, 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 yes. We can see it. Okay, like Chet Rosa. It's like show. Tak, dia tak keluar slide show. Uh, uh, bawah. Sekejap. Bawah Bila dia tak mau ni di bawah. Dia tak dia tak boleh ni Zul di bawah. Oh, uh, tak boleh. Dia tak ni dia. Oh, I okay. buat a few time on us tak ni. Tak apa lah. You buat view full screen lah. Right. View full screen. Okay. View full screen. Uh, okay je tak apa. Dia... Nampak kan? Ah uh, Nampak nampak. I okay, dah cuba di bawah ni. Dia tak mau pergi. Right. Okay. 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 Sorry. Hey, sorry for the technical error. I'm not sure my laptop. I cannot uh, show the slide throughout the Zoom. Uh, lead to the competency of using Zoom, I think. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay. Maybe you click the uh, slide show, uh, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then uh, from the beginning. From the beginning, yes. okay. okay. So, right. I will see that uh, there are five, uh, okay. five participants for this group. You can see now better? Ah, okay, all right, all right. Okay, better, better. All right, thank you very much, Jamie. Assalamualaikum yeah. and good morning, everyone. Uh, I wish, allow me to introduce myself, even though uh, Jamie has done it before. Uh, I'm Rosal. Uh, I'm uh, currently working with uh, Proton as a HR business partner for the Proton Commercial. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm in charging on the commercial side of Proton, which is a sales and marketing team. Supporting uh, sales marketing team is comprised of uh, Proton Eda, Sandra Brahat, and also Proton Park Center, Sandra Brahat. I'm covering uh, both of the company under the Proton Commercial. 
I've been working as a HR practitioner for the past 21 years, okay, in various various uh, manufacturing uh, fields, ranging from the paper to the plastic, rubber, and uh, now with the metal industry, uh, we are doing uh, manufacturing of national car. Uh, prior to Proton, I was with the Highcom Automotive Manufacturer in Pekan Pahang, which is um, I work as a head of human capital, uh, aka generalist, okay, taking care of uh, three operations, uh, basically uh, Volkswagen uh, from German. We also have a Mercedes, also from German, and uh, Suzuki operation from Japan. So imagine uh, the tremendous uh, pressure or expectation from the two kind of uh, business partner, which is from German and also from Japan. As what Rita say, Japan we're talking about a lot about uh, Gemba, a lot about procedures, everything. While for German, they are more practical. They want the result. They don't care much about how you do it just get the result so mm. there for the three years plus i need to balance from this uh, various kind of expectation not only for from a uh, counterpart from german and japanese but as well from our malaysian as a uh, i'm a staff of the hecom actually i'm seconded to uh, hecom automotive for the time uh, also responsible in reporting all aspects of human capitals uh, through the Malaysian counterpart in HQ as well. Uh, 2017, when uh, I was uh, assigned to Proton Edar, uh, I started as a HR journalist as well, um, handling a group of uh, HR uh, specialists, ranging from recruitment up to employee relations. But as all, all of us are aware, from Malaysia aware, that uh, 2017 is a turnaround for Proton, uh, which is uh, we're having a new uh, business partner. Uh, there is a Jili from China uh, joining us in somewhere in October 2017. And throughout the years, uh, we in Proton, especially for human resource, we have a very broad uh, changes, very tremendous changes in terms of uh, HR setup because we are not uh, only doing our traditional HR, but at that time, Proton embarked into a new uh, HR practices by introducing the HR business partner somewhere in 2018. Uh, pro, prior to that, uh, we are being sent to China, to Jili, China, to learn how uh, the HR business partner run in China. Because uh, Jili, they are adopt uh, away from uh, Huawei at that time. Okay. So bear with me. Uh, I have uh, just a, a few slides only and then uh, quite brief impro uh, brief uh, information in my slide. And uh, I wish to have uh, two-way communication during the sharing session. If you have any inquiry or question, you, can, you may ask me. Uh, without waiting for the end of the presentation. So, sorry, are you going to move your slide because you are, you are still looking at your first couple of pages? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, next, uh, Jamie. All right. All right. I will cover um, four areas, but here you can see only uh, three. A cover of the what is a HR business partner is all about and what are the HR business partner key roles and what are the HR business partner key competencies and after that we go for a question and answer. Next, Jamie. Oh, this slide is quite jumbled. Yeah, on my screen. Yeah, so okay, if I can read and later I will share the slide uh, to the rest of participants, yeah. All right. Uh, when we say the HR business partner, what is the definition of HR business partner? I didn't uh, put a very academic type of explanation on the HR business partner, but I rather uh, 
share with you that HR business partner is usually a very experienced HR professional who will work closely with the leaders or a part of organization. When we say part of organization means the other middle management in the organization, uh, particularly to help them to achieve value throughout their people. I mean, uh, HR uh, business partner, we are using uh, all the HR function, okay, uh, HR initiative in driving our people of the organization into producing uh, or achieving the specific company goal. For example, for Proton Edar, always our goal is to be number one again in Malaysia in terms of automotive solution. And we also target to be number three in Asian country by uh, in next uh, three years time. So the key function for HR business partner in uh, H, uh, in Proton Commercial is how we're going to uh, maximize our people's uh, capability and capacity in terms of driving a Proton back to the number one in Malaysia and also to become a number three in Asian country. So there's a huge challenge for us uh, in Proton currently, particularly for business partner. Later, I will share with you the structure of uh, uh, Proton HR for your uh, uh, information. All right. Uh, usually, people ask how much experience needed to be HRBP. Is the fresh graduate can be HRBP? Well, it depends on the organization needs. But usually, HRBP. When I say it must be an experienced HR professional, they must have at least four to five years a solid experience as HR generalist. Usually, is HR generalist. Huh? Uh, it's quite difficult for a uh, specialist to become HR business partner because the requirement for the HR business partner, they must understand the whole HR function. They must, uh, the information or the skill of HR function must be on the fingertip because, um, uh, you know, when you are assigned to the various business unit, Right, and then you are answering to business leaders such as CEO, and then the employee with regard to HR needs. Usually, they will find you first if any issue pertaining to HR that they may face in the organization, ranging from the CEO, middle management, supervisors, staff, and not least is a union, unions, uh, union people or so union leaders. Uh, about the reporting line for HRBP, usually, unlike the HR journalists, HRBP, we have a dual reporting line. One is to the CEO or the business leader, and another line is to HR director or our head of HR. Particularly for Proton, uh, business leader, we are reporting in terms of uh, operational, and for the director, we are reporting in terms of uh, functional. Okay. All right. <sighs> Next, Jimmy. All right. Uh, if you can see here is a, a structure of uh, HR and our particularly uh, currently in Proton. Okay, it will uh, give you an idea about uh, a difference between HR versus. HRBP or HR Business Partner. You can see uh, in the blue color, like blue color is a HR function, uh, particularly is HR specialist function. And in the green one is a HR Business Partner. So you see uh, all of us are reporting to the directors of HR who are usually a generalist, okay? Uh, under the HR specialist, we have a resourcing and recruitment, we have industrial relation and employee relation. We have a uh, specialist in remuneration benefit, talent management, ODTM, uh, organization development, and also a training and development. Whereas uh, for Proton, for the business partner, we have a three main operation in Proton. Number one is uh, on the commercial side, which is we are reporting to vice president of sales and marketing, Proton. And for the business partner, HR business partner of manufacturing, we are reporting to the vice president of manufacturing. And uh, HR business partner for engineering, they are reporting to 
Vice President of Engineering. So if you look at the specific difference between these two, HR specialist and HR business partner, uh, obviously uh, for the HR specialist, they have a single reporting line. Yeah, it direct to the Director General, whereas the HRBP, we have a dual reporting line, as I mentioned earlier, to the HR leadership and also to the business unit leadership. Uh, if we look at the uh, HR specialists, they are competent in the specific area of HR expertise, uh, like uh, resourcing and recruiting, they are expert more on the recruitment and the sourcing of the uh, talent, Okay, and so on. The rest. Whereas the HRBP, they must be competent in both HR scale. When, when I say both HR scale, they must know everything about uh, recruitment and uh, resourcing and recruitment. They must have a basic information on the, in terms of industrial and employee relation, remuneration, everything in the blue side must have the HRBP as a their scale plus the business operation information or business operation uh, competency, such as a business acumen, everything. They must know, in short, they must know also about the business that they're doing. For example, I'm in the sales and marketing. I must be well versed on the products, or Proton products, both technical and also uh, commercial uh, information. I must know about the setup of the organization for sales and marketing division. I must know about people because the way of people in commercial thinking is different compared to those in manufacturing. So the skill for HRPP generally is broader compared to the HR specialist. In other words, the job is more difficult compared to the HR specialist, right? And then uh, we look at the specific function for the HR specialist. HR specialist, they have a specific function uh, mostly they develop and administrate the HR policy. They're doing the policies in terms of, uh, and they also do administrative of the policies. Okay. Whereas for HRBP, the, the, the function including of, we have a general HR function, everything we must know. And then uh, to support our business partner and add, on additional to that, they must strong in HR analytics. Uh, must be a good advisory, good coach, and a good communicator because we are dealing with a wide range of people across the organization from the top to the uh, very low levels of uh, employee. And we see the number four is not so clear here. And uh, the, the job rules of the HR specialist, they are supporting the HR business partner uh, whereas the HR business partner, the rules mainly to support the business leader and also the employee in the business or in the organization. All right, next, Jimmy. All right, people something ask how to transform from HR practitioner or HR generalist to become HR business partner. Uh, I have the same difficulties in 2018 when uh, moving my thinkings from uh, HR generalist or head of HR to become HR business partner uh, is quite, uh, frankly, it's quite stress a moment in 2018 because we're not sure what is a business partner is all about and what we are doing. And all of a sudden, we feel that everybody are coming for us. We feel that like we left alone. As uh, most of my uh, staff who are doing recruitment, industrial relations, everybody, uh, transfer to a uh, group human capital to be part of the HR specialist, uh, leaving just a few people uh, with me as a HR business partner. So the important uh, thing that we must have in order to become a good HR business partner is uh, using a T models. T models. Okay, you see the top is a broad uh, knowledge. In terms of overall HR uh, practices or HR function, with the one or two skill, in-depth skill in terms of the functional area or discipline or specialty, uh, this this site is going to help you a lot uh, while you being a business partner. When I talk about deep uh, deep uh, knowledge, it will depend on the what kind of 
area that related to the field. For example, when I uh, was assigned to uh, commercial, remember I was uh, part of uh, manufacturing and hold my uh, years of experience. Right? But suddenly when they assigned to the sales and marketing, uh, I need to see what are the requirements at the moment at the sales and marketing in uh, with regard to the people management. So we have a lot of uh, uh, issues with the uh, level relations, uh, the culture, because the culture of people in, in sales and marketing is a little bit different compared to the people in manufacturing. So I develop, I need to develop uh, in-depth skill in terms of the culture management, the leaderships, you know, the, and uh, to strengthen uh, the level relations. And then, of course, the collective bargaining as the union in the commercial a little bit different uh, in terms of their belief and their practices compared to the manufacturing union. So throughout the time, since 2018 and 19, I focused more on the, to go in depth in terms of culture management leadership and also the liberation uh, and the collective bargaining. Uh, I mean, IR and ER area to be in depth. So that's how I consider myself quite survived during uh, the time of transition from uh, HR journalist to become the HR business partner from 2018 until today. All right, next, uh, Jing. All right, uh, we go through what the HRVP uh, key rules. Uh, actually, HRVP, they have uh, many, many key rules. But here I focus into uh, three main key roles uh, for this session. As I aware that we have a short, uh, very limited time to share with you. Uh, rule number one is uh, strategic partners. And rule number two is a crisis manager. And rule number three is a coach to become a coach for the business partner and also the employee. Next, Jamie. All right, we go to the strategic partners, okay? So for the HRBP, we always become a, a key personnel to support uh, CEO and also the media management in terms of delivering uh, expected result set up by the uh, stakeholder for the business. For example, uh, in this type, in, in this uh, Proton Edar, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are focusing to become a number one again in terms of uh, market share in Malaysia and uh, focusing to be number three in Asian country so that uh, HRBP must help the business leader in terms of develop people to have a good talent and to understand the manpower requirement, the cost, the budget, and the aspect on the employee motivation, the competitor threat, everything, which would hinder us from achieving uh, our business target. So we must understand how our business work, about the mission and vision and the goal. In order to do this, I always believe that um, some Japanese uh, philosophy, such as Gemba, is very, very important. For those who being new as a HR business partner, I uh, ask them to uh, go, uh, go to the shop floor and understand the business very, very well. For example, when I was changed from uh, manufacturing into the sales and marketing, I have uh, almost zero knowledge on the sales and service service uh, of the car and also customer uh, expectation in terms of uh, sales and marketing. Uh, what we do is uh, we need to be uh, to do a gamba, move to the shop floor, uh, mix around with the salesman, uh, service technician to understand what are the difficulties, what are the things that hindered them from achieving the target and also have a constant uh, engagement with the uh, middle management such as sales director or after sales director to understand what the, the main issue that they have pertaining to the HR function that 
uh, being there are difficulties for them. And I found that uh, previously, before we have a business partner, uh, the focus of HR is more on delivering the HR uh, function only, such as a payroll, uh, pay the claim, pay the allowances, everything. But we less focus on what kind of allowance, what kind of incentive that can retain our people within the organization. When I say retain, mean retain a good people. So how we manage the performance rather than we become a, just an examiner or just an administrative, administrator for the performance management. But how are we going to uh, improve the system, the, uh, I mean the performance management system, how we make the uh, business partner, the media management understand as a whole of uh, our performance management system so that they can do it effectively in terms of coaching their people toward the uh, achievement, the, the required performance or how they drive and coach back those non-performer throughout the specific system such as performance improvement plan whatsoever we have. Uh, usually the HR uh, specialists, they are prepared all this policy, but uh, for HRBP, the most important thing is how we implement this all the, uh, strategies, all these uh, initiatives that uh, provided by the uh, HR, and also that we are collecting the information or feedback from the shop floor uh, for the sake of the improvement of our system. All right. Uh, another part of the business strategy, business partner that I have in Proton is when uh, 2017, we found that, that we have, we do a benchmark with uh, other uh, organization in the automotive and we found that we have a quite number of people. And then uh, this is a challenge how to have um, they call it uh, optimum workforce for Proton, especially for the commercial side. So this is very challenging. Uh, we have to identify uh, between the numbers and the requirement. And then uh, we have to identify uh, key performance, key talents, and then to address for non-performer or the debt would in the, our organization. And this will be done by the HRBP with the help and assistance from the various uh, HR specialists such as IR and also uh, manpower planning and resourcing team. We move to the next strategy, Jimmy. All right, now a second so a key role is the crisis manager. Uh, as we, we we know nowadays we have a COVID-19 pandemic. So the HR business partner is a key people always become a referral in terms of managing a conflict in the organization. Usually we have a two kinds of a crisis or conflicts, a major crisis and a minor crisis. A major crisis that we know we have now is a COVID-19 pandemic. Everybody are looking for the HRBP in terms of uh, managing the issues and uh, determining how, how many people can come to work, what the number, what are the government new uh, regulation pertaining to the workforce, uh, about the uh, movement control orders, okay? Uh, everything pertaining to uh, pandemic, we also are responsible to report back to the management in terms of a uh, number of people affected by uh, COVID-19 pandemics and to provide a support to the staff who are affected or positive uh, COVID-19, not only to the affected staff, but also to their family in view that the staff uh, transfer to uh, MIPS or the areas uh, to the hospital. So HRBP also need to extend the support to the family in terms of make sure that they, they have uh, all the necessity in their home, such as food, you know, uh, transportation for the kid to the schools and everything. So this is uh, taken care by the HRBP as a part of our function. And uh, some other major crises that Usually, HRBP are required to play a big role is the, if any, a picket or strike by union. 
and uh, also in terms of natural disaster, like a flood or fire, uh, hazard, everything pertaining to our people. And uh, HRPP also expected to play a main role in handling a minor crisis, such as a uh, uh, key talent resignation. We have to study whether the talent need to be counter offer or not, and what was the uh, best negotiation uh, strategy to keep this talent from resigning. And also in terms of performance, we have a low performance, managing a low performance throughout the performance management system and also handling a disciplinary cases uh, within our uh, business uh, unit. And then usually during in this uh, crisis management, the uh, HR business partner usually required to do a specific roles such as a coordinator, for example, the COVID-19 as I mentioned, a negotiator when handling the issue with the unions or with the employee and also uh, has a moderate mediator if we have any uh, uh, session with the uh, between management and the employee we move to next jamie all right the third role i mentioned earlier for the HR business partner is a coach uh, as we know, we are supporting the business leader and head of department to interact across the level in the organization. Sometimes we may see the angles or the, the things that other leaders or employees didn't see and realize. So that we, uh, the HR partner usually uh, do a, a, a role of a coach. Uh, for example, we always interact between the uh, various uh, leaders that we know uh, from there we can know the style of communication style the way they manage the people and everything and then we can uh, provide them feedback okay and guidance to the leader on the blind spot that they, they're not uh, aware within the organization such as uh, grievances of uh, the staff or, or open the any uh, communication any of uh, new policies uh, new business policies uh, announced uh, or the potential union issue and etc. Uh, besides uh, providing the feedback to the staff, we also uh, become an advisory role to the business leader. Uh, so the essential business information such as a benchmark with other uh, competitor good business practices, um, attrition trend or HR analytic, and also we are provided the information with regard to the new government legislation or statutories and uh, etc to the business uh, leader so that they're aware and uh, right uh, policy a uh, right uh, strategy can can be taken can be uh, taken by the business leader in terms of managing the sudden change in the market and also regard to the new government policy right uh, we go for next, Jimmy. There are three uh, main competency for HRBP. Actually, it has a lot, but I focus here only for three. Number one is a business acumen. Uh, number two is a problem solving, and number three is a communication. Let's see for the next slide, Jimmy. All right, for the business acumen, uh, this is very important for the HR business partner if they want to be effective HR business partner. Uh, all the HR business partner, they must understand the mission, vision, and the values of the organization that they are attached to. And then uh, they must know how the whole operation work, the process flow and everything. And then they must understand how uh, the organization make money or profit. They, in order to do this, they must know the cost elements of the business, ranging from the uh, manpower cost and also uh, business related cost. And then uh, they need to understand as well on the business risk, such as uh, changes in the government policies, uh, market trend, technologies, and also the labor uh, market that will affect the organization profitability and also affect uh, the organization 
competitiveness advantage. And the skills, this kind of skill, business acumen will make you become uh, effective HR business partner. Next. All right, another key function of uh, HR business partner is a, is a referral. Everybody will start refer to the HR business partner in any kind of problem that they have. So a problem solving skill is very, very important for HR business partner as they are expected to be able to provide solution on whatever asked by the business leader or the organization, aka all the blame usually goes to the HR business partner if anything wrong pertaining to the people. Staff not performing, staff resigning, not enough staff, not enough salary and everything. So this kind of uh, challenge uh, usually become a problem to the organizations. So HR business partner is expected to be able to resolve all these uh, problems. But of course, uh, definitely we cannot resolve everything. But uh, the most important for the HR business partner in the managing of this kind of expectation is you need to understand and well versed with the uh, organization policies, such as the business policies, the Employment Act, statutory requirement, the HR policy, and also the practices and the collective agreement. You must know everything in terms of this one in order for you to give a, a suitable solution for each of the issues that bring up to you as a HLBP. A second one, you, uh, you need to know on the uh, HLBP must have a competency in terms of data analysis and also the benchmarking. Uh, it's also important for uh, problem solving. And uh, for, sorry, because this slide is not in full. Uh, for the data analysis and benchmarking, they will help you to understand the problem root cause, the trend and the risk in order to identify uh, uh, the issues and the propose the best solution to your business partner. And uh, also we, for the benchmarking is for you to study and adapt to the other organization best practice for in order for you to give a quick solution to the organization. Uh, sometimes if we uh, crack our head with our solution, it's uh, quite risky compared to we look at the other uh, company best practice and then implement to our organization. For example, for Proton, when we move from uh, a branch operation, previously in Proton Eda, we have uh, many branches. We have about 54 branches. And resulting that we have a lot of people in the organization and then uh, uh, when uh, management decided we have to do a rationalization of a manpower, so what we did in terms in, in this is a benchmarking with other OEMs such as a Toyota, how they're doing, how they move from the a branch environment uh, business uh, operation to a branch into the 100% dealers. So we study on how Toyota are doing it, what the issues are facing by Toyota, and then we are uh, uh, compare back to our Proton environment and how we can adapt or adopt the way uh, Toyota do into a Proton uh, uh, people with, uh, of course, with the uh, uh, various improvement so that we manage to uh, complete the task assigned by the top management in last year, whereas we are transferring the business to our new dealerships and then we um, we rationalize around 1485 people employee so this is a very tough job that undertook by the hrbp commercial last year and then uh, we managed to do it in a successful manner without any issue with the uh, union and also uh, industrial relation uh, I will share in detail if uh, anybody would like to know how we do on this matter. Uh, next, Jamie. Okay, the third uh, important competency is a communication. 
there's a two different type of communication that usually uh, involve the HRBP. Number one is a large group communication, and the second one is a one-to-one -one communication. We need to be uh, masters in both of these communication. And uh, for large group communication, I'm referring to uh, a group of 50 people or higher. This is usually uh, the communication that we do during the town hall for every staff. And uh, sometimes in the official events, uh, HRBP may require to give some uh, HR speech to the employee, especially announcing bonuses and everything. And then uh, announcing bonuses, as you mean, you know, sometimes it's not a, a good news, especially when the figure that we announce is below the expectations of the employee. So uh, it's, it's just sometimes to become a HRBP is it's going to be very, very tough in handling this kind of uh, large group communication. And the second one is the one-to-one -one communication. It's across all level. Uh, this is more on the coaching and mentoring for the staff and the media management, uh, counseling to the problematic staff, negotiation with the union leaders in terms of CA or any trade dispute that we may have uh, within our organization. Uh, this uh, skill I term as a very important for HRBP as um, the ability to communicate to, to communicate well within the organization is a very is a key success factor for HRBP in delivering their uh, expected uh, tasks, and then uh, it requires a strong EQ for HRBP. Uh, especially when you communicated non-popular policies or you communicated something uh, non-popular uh, uh, policies uh, during the conflict lah, usually as what we always having here is uh, doing a town hall uh, to inform the staff that we're going to transfer them to the dealership, you know, uh, communicating the uh, uh, below expected uh, bonus figures, and then uh, implementing a new policies in terms of uh, uh, cost rationalization is 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 really unpopular, but uh, always HRBP always expected to become a spokesperson for the management, whether it's from a group human capitals or from the business leader as well. So this is very important in terms of how the communication uh, to be shared across the organization. And this is quite a very huge skill and it's, it's, a, it's quite a difficult task for the HRBP to handle. All right, we go to next. Oh, I think that's all uh, from my coverage today. Uh, I'm sorry because the slide is really hampered my flow of uh, deliverabilities as uh, I need to be <laughs> more well-versed on the Zoom in the future. That's all. Thank you very much. Uh, I open to any questions from the, my fellow HR practitioner. Thank you, Rosal. Anyone to ask question? Please do so. Yeah. Um, uh, Jamie, can you stop sharing first? Yeah. Thank you. I have a question for Mr. Rosal. How, how do you measure the effectiveness of an HRBP? All right. Uh, how you manage effectiveness is based on the... Uh, usually, we have a two kind of uh, yardstick. Yeah? Number one is our KPI. Number two is on the uh, employee feedback or uh, feedback uh, service level feedback from the uh, our stakeholder, which is uh, from the business uh, partner, our CEO or our middle management, and as well as our people in terms of the HR deliverabilities and the support to them. So uh, at the KPI, of course, we have a uh, uh, specific target numbers uh, that we are planned from uh, toward the earlier stage of the financial year. And another one, at the end of the financial year, we are gathering the feedback uh, from the employee survey throughout our respective uh, business unit so that the staff will, and also the leadership uh, level, they will give uh, feedback on the HR business partner uh, 
uh, durabilities and an area of improvement. So from there, we will see uh, how much is the uh, uh, constructive uh, feedback that we have and how much of the price that we have. And then uh, if the overall uh, targeted uh, KPI achieved uh, throughout the, 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 the years, the financial years, from there, we can see whether the HR business partner function is, is effective or not in terms of driving the uh, organization uh, target. Mm -hmm. Usually, the KPI for HR business partner is very much aligned to the business, uh, such as a, a targeted uh, number of sales, for, 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 uh, particularly for Proto Edara. Yeah, and also the revenue for the after sales and also a part center. From there, uh, we are, usually we are focusing on the talent abilities, a number of uh, sales advisors or performance of sales advisors, and what were initiative that we are, we did in terms of driving this area. So throughout the KPI and the feedback, then we can uh, determine the the level of effectiveness and then we may go for the improvement by year to years in the practice. Okay, so, so Mr. Rosa, what, what you're saying is that uh, in terms of the KPI, HRBP is also held responsible for the business result of the company, right? Of the business unit that they are Yes. Doing. Okay. It is very much aligned between the HR function that would support the business uh, KPI, actually. Mm, 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 mm. I think it's, uh, it's good that because as a HRPP, right, we need to help the business uh, win in the marketplace. I think it also serves that purpose. Yeah, very good. Yeah. yeah. And one, one more question, Mr. Rosa. In your current company, how many people are there in the HR department? Uh, you mean the whole HR in Proton or what? Oh, specifically yeah, yeah. for HRPP. Uh, no, no, the whole, dep uh, the whole HR people in, in Proton, yeah. In Proton, we have about close to 280 people. Ooh, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, overall, we handle overall Proton of uh, around 7,000 people, total population of Proton employee. And, but for the human HR business partner in the commercial, currently, uh, our originally our number, we have about 35 people, but now we, the, since 2018, we shrink, we, we reduce the numbers to become only around 12 people for both companies, and both company, in particular for HR. Oh, you mean 12 people are the HR PP, right? Correct. Oh, I see. But in Putong, do they, do they uh, practice sort of C, uh, what you call three pillars, meaning that they have a group of people serving as C, uh, a Shared Service Center, SSC, a group of people serving of COE, Center of Excellence or Center of Expert, and a group of people serving as HRPP. Do you have this kind of setup in your current company? Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. As I show in the, my fourth slide just now, mm -hmm. uh, it's changed from, the, uh, but in Proton, they, they split into two. Number one, they call it the HR specialist, which is more aligned to those you see, uh, uh, COE, Central of Expert, you know? uh, but they call it uh, HR specialist. They are specialized in doing uh, HR function. Uh, such as uh, policies, you know, everything's uh, pertaining to administrative, like recruitment, whatsoever. But for HRBP, uh, we also do have a function of, uh, for example, uh, manpower planning, yeah. And for HRBP, we are doing the manpower planning. How many numbers of uh, manpower actually require for the next year based on the uh, targeted numbers, targeted volume, or targeted sales? Required that done by the HRBP. From there, we are discussing. We see how the structure for the uh, commercial side of Proton in terms of number of manpower, in terms of uh, scale of manpower required, especially for the media management, everything. We do the planning and then uh, we prepare the job description, everything. We all we update the job description with the requirement and we share with our HR specialists in the uh, recruitment sourcing. So the sourcing, they will receive this order specification uh, given by, uh, prepared by the HR business partner after we, uh, HR people discuss with the business leader. So they were sourcing with the candidate and they arranged for the interview. And welcome to the interview session. The interviewer is the HR business partner and the business leader. 
Why? Because we know the business very well. We know what kind of people we're looking for that suit to our operation, that suit to our manpower requirement, uh, not the HR specialist. Especially they just know which, uh, which to, uh, which, uh, how to get the candidate, what uh, talent agency they need to discuss, and what are the remuneration package they need to discuss with the candidate. But in terms of suitability, our fitness, uh, employee fit to the organization, or the assessment done by HRBP together with uh, a business leader, not the HR specialist. This is how, how, how the flow is done. Uh, another uh, example for the performance management. Okay, mm -hmm. the HR specialist in terms of uh, performance management, they are preparing the policies, everything the guideline how to do it, but come to the implementation, it's impl implemented by the HRBP. So we need to study everything prepared by the HR specialist. We have to understand first before we meet with the business leader, explain to them what was the targeted, what was the new uh, policies and how to implement it. And we do the coaching for the old media management, teach them how to run, how to implement the new, how to do the coaching, how to do everything depending to the uh, to the performance and uh, at the same time you also to monitor uh, to ensure that the business leader or the middle management in the our business unit uh, conducting a right way in terms of uh, doing a performance measurement or performance improvement because uh, as we know if we're mishandling this it will lead to another industrial relation issues in mm. the future so as you say especially they're doing the framework, everything, but the implementation, make sure it runs well, make sure it's fair uh, running, make sure that everything is under the HRBP, not the HR specialist. Okay, so anything pertaining to uh, people not uh, happy with the, the way they're being uh, evaluated in terms of performance management, the employee won't go to the group HR and looking for the performance. They were looking for HRBP and they expect HRBP to explain everything to them. And uh, sometimes we have been blamed. So we cannot touch everything. We have to absorb it, smile, and then explain back why it's happened this way and why you do this. If uh, sometimes we have to also liaise with a very set, very high self-esteem uh, business leader or, or media management, you know, to say that hey, the way you do it is wrong. You cannot do it this way. You have to do it that way. You know, at, at the beginning, a HR business partner, if um. What I say, uh, HR business partner is a position that you must have a respect and uh, you must gain the respect and uh, what do you call it, um, buy in from the business leader. Mm. If they're not respect the business partner, they just look at you, it's just an ordinary HR, it's very difficult for you to function actually. So in order to be respected, you must be seen as very knowledgeable, know everything, a one-stop center of everything. Then only they, they will respect you. If they're asking you, you, you don't know, you always refer back to here and there, I think it's going to be very difficult for you to uh, work as a business partner, actually. Yeah. So the most, uh, that's why I, I list out that this, uh, that the three uh, key competencies is very important for the service partner. You must know about business so that the business leader cannot bluff you. Mm. You know, turn you around here and there. You must know everything about sale. You must know for my side. But I must know about sale. I must know about the each model of the car. It's a unique selling factor of the car. The HRBP must know. So that when the employee cannot sell the car, when the salesman cannot sell the car and they give you a lot of excuses, then you can you actually you can differentiate between whether it's a reason or is an excuse. You can mm -hmm. be very differentiated and then you can manage the performance management very well. And also you need to know about problem solving because uh, people will respect people who they feel that helping them. So whenever, whenever kind of issue, for example, during this COVID-19, uh, as a judge business partner, I often become a second spokesperson of MKN. Yeah, I'm about uh, to ask that question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were asking, even though they all saw it in the media, they read it from the WhatsApp, they're still asking, can I come to work? Can I ask my staff to come to work tomorrow or not? Uh, we are locked down. What happened? Everything you must, you cannot say, ah, this one you don't, have you read in the newspaper? Have you read in the blog? You cannot say that, but you have to answer it patiently. Not only carefully, but patiently. Because, you may have 
10 or 20 same question every day. No? Uh, some of them, they try to put uh, their word in your mouth. So that one day, if anything goes wrong, they will say, oh, HR already allowed. So you must be very, very careful in terms of communication, in terms of uh, delivering, in terms of uh, fulfilling all the expectations of a business partner. That's why I say, there should be some other is a very tough job, actually. But at the same time, it's very interesting uh, roles in, within the HR because it's a dynamic. You are not, uh, uh, you're not stuck in, in your desk every day. And you cannot be stuck in your desk every day as a your business partner. You must walk around every day. I seldom be in my office, frankly. And then uh, my handphone is uh, actually my office. They reach me everywhere through WhatsApp, through WeChat, everything. If the from the our uh, counterpart from Jili, the second day, they will reach me through the WeChat. They want to know about their expiry of their permit. They want to know on the when they can go back to China and every everything. Bring out the the families, everything because uh, immigration matters. Everything if they are being caught or, or being stopped by the police, everything expected that they will call HRBP to help them, even though in the middle of the night. So that's why uh, HRBP is a very, very tough job, but it's a very, very interesting job as well. So that's how I, 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 I can say uh, in terms of HRBP mm, job I, function. I can't agree with you more, Mr. Ross. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. Uh, Rita, uh, we have a small group discussion. Yeah. Uh, probably well, if uh, uh, some of you uh, have a more few yeah. questions to ask, we can ask later. Can we go to group discussion first? Yeah, we have sure. four topics, yeah? Yeah, we have a small group discussion with four topics. Can we... Yeah, can we assign them to respective group? Um, who are the uh, facilitator, may I know? Yeah, the facilitator, let, let me share. Okay. Let me share. Okay. Group one. Oh, I could see. Rita, group one, you. The topic is share real time experience on dealing with a shift from operational HR to HRBP. That's group one. Mm -hmm. And then group two, facilitated by Rosal himself. What has worked and what has not worked from the shift? Okay, group three, uh, Wishida or Hezi, how to transform from passive to assertive revenue generators change agent. And the last group, group four, yeah, myself, how do we assess the competencies of a HRBP? What are the questions, my dear De uh, Jamie, for each of the group? Yeah, we have we have question here. If you see uh, group one, can we go to the breakout rooms? We can't see the we can see the questions. So oh, it's, you can see. Cannot see. Yeah. So it's better for you to to WhatsApp each of yeah, them. You can see. You can see the slide now. The slide that I show. Uh, put run right. Share real time um, dealing with the issue. Yeah, this is okay. group one uh, question. So you other facilitators are also aware of their questions. Okay, so I now open up all the rooms. Okay, fifteen yeah. minutes for each group discussion. Okay, yeah, group two, the the topic here, group two, you can okay. see from the slide. Can I open up the room now, Jamie? Yeah, yeah, please, please. Can okay. we take fifteen or twenty minutes? Uh, now because we are getting less people, so oh, I yeah. fifteen minutes should be okay. All right, fifteen minutes. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah, okay. shall stop at. Okay. We shall stop at around. Right. The system will count it. It's okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. We'll come back and then each group. All will right. Be we'll do. Primitive to do the summary. Yeah. Okay. Not process. Yeah. Yeah, welcome back to mainstream. 
Do we have time to get a group presentation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think quick one. Mm -hmm. Or the, the, the input, right? or the input right? from discussion. Yeah, for me, it, actually, we only have two people in the group. So we, oh. we, we talk a lot with Mr. Asan. Uh, yeah, about the transformation of um, of uh, having an HR generalist and then move into into an HRBP, and mm -hmm. we share that is really the trend and also the value to, for HR to show the value to to move into uh, HRBP because I think at the, at the end of the day we need to be part of the business and then speak the same language as the business partner as a business leader, as mentioned by Mr. Rosan's uh, presentation. And I, I, I agree with him more about uh, a lot of the core competencies that we need. And also that is the, the value that we need to show by, be, by being part of the business. And then we, we just share a bit about um, the, the importance of being a uh, business partner, but a lot, of, uh, like a lot of stuff actually recovered by Mr. Rosan's uh, presentation. So I'm not, we are not going to repeat it here because we learned a lot from him about today's presentation and covered a lot. So, so that's why we actually, we spoke about a few things that he covered in the presentation, yeah. Thank you, Jamie, that's all for our sharing. Jamie, you have to unmute yourself. Can we get group two? Okay, group two, the, we have got short discussion just now. Uh, group two is what has worked and what is, doesn't work to the shift. Means uh, when uh, anyone uh, going to, uh, to join the HRBP field, uh, usually what are the success uh, factor, what's the non-success factor. As I share with Sasro, also Jamie just now, is the ability to the person in terms of gathering uh, both sides of uh, uh, knowledge and information for the HR and also business acumen. Usually, uh, the HRPP must have, must have two. And I also share uh, both of the uh, knowledge as uh, how to do it in short time. And I'll share with us and, and Nizam. Usually, we make use of the people that we have. Uh, a blend of uh, people with the group uh, under us should be a, a group of people with uh, uh, information uh, capacity. If you are from HR field, we should have another assistant or what, who are expertise in the business field. Uh, so the time be uh, for a meanwhile, we can uh, adapt to the requirement skill in terms of business policy, whereas at the same time, uh, HR functional. And then uh, another thing that crucial to make uh, it work as HRBP is the uh, competencies levels it's such a communication as i mentioned original or uh, earlier the type of communication will be different for the uh, hrbp compared to hr uh, especially other hr practitioner and as well um, on the problem solving is very crucial because the main expectation of our business partner to the hrbp is solve their problem so this three is a key important to make it whether it work or not work when we shift from the HR uh, practitioner to become HRBP. Okay, uh, last group, third group. Okay, let me share the slides. Yeah. Uh, Sharia will be presenting on our behalf. Okay. Sharia? Rashida here, yeah, Sharia. All right, okay. Oh, okay. They have slide for this. Good. All right, so, Go ahead. okay. So, based on our discussion in the group, so we come out with. Uh, for on the uh, how to transform from passive to assertive or revenue generator change agent. So first, we are looking at communication and connect with the people, uh, meaning that we have a maintain and improve relationship among the team members. And we also ensure that everybody within the organization understand on the business and the com common goals. And secondly, we are looking at employee participation within the group. So we we're going to have collaboration with all level of employees. Uh, for example, we have, we invite the trade, uh, leader in trade union to together with the management and get uh, have employee engagement program, empowered uh, and supportive working environment. So meaning that once we have engaged with more employees within the organization, we, we could uh, develop the industrial harmony in the organization itself and thirdly we are looking at enhancement internal business processes uh, must have a user-friendly and updated uh, process uh, within the organization ensure that 
uh, the SOP compliance uh, in the process. And currently, due to this pandemic, uh, uh, pandemic issues, uh, we are looking at digitalization. And uh, in order for the company to have a better awareness, we are looking at uh, digitalization in the process of getting the awareness in the, 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 the division itself. And fourthly, looking at the attractive recognition and reward program. Uh, try to develop on the sales-driven incentive program, uh, celebrate a small success within the organization, uh, looking at the top talent recognition. Uh, and for example, like in Proton also, we have this happy operation entity program, a reward incentive program, uh, solely for the division or uh, every, uh, every section that they achieve certain target within that year, uh, we will recognize and uh, giving the uh, incentive or reward to the division itself and looking also on the related training uh, program within the organization. So, uh, and lastly, look at the more collaboration opportunities uh, within the organization. We look into how we can get uh, other entities or other business partners to collaborate with us in order for us to get more revenues uh, within the organization itself. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sharia. That is sharing from the group three. Yeah, good. Yeah, we okay. have only three groups. Okay. Uh, it's close to 11.48 now. Yeah. So any question you want to put to Encik Rosa before we end our session? Anyone? Shall we give a big hand to Mr. Rosa? I think he has done a great job in sharing yeah. uh, what his uh, company does. We have learned a lot. Yeah, I, I agree with Rita. Uh, yeah. Good input from Rosa. Yeah, that can we, we can take away yeah, to improve. Yeah. Yeah. in uh, our organization or uh, uplift some knowledge yeah thank you very Any much question? yeah before we end our session yeah rosa you have done a good job today yeah i just a small sharing i apologize for the slide and there's some technical issue at the beginning of the presentation anyway, thank you thank you rosa thank, thank you, you. That, that, thank that's you, very Rosal. small rosa don't worry Thank you, thank you guys for, for assisting the session today. Really thank appreciate you, it. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Uh, so, yeah. Zoo, can, can I talk one more thing? Um, since HRPP is becoming very important in the HR world, HHRM actually has organized a HR certification course on that. Yes, so we yes. Can send such information to the participants today. Sure, and, sure. Uh, so that they can consider joining us. And yes, sir. in order for us to add more value to our organization. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's good. Looking forward. Rosal, Rosal should be the first person to join. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's so, the first so, so, so. To teach, huh? He should be the first person to teach. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. The, 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 the real practitioner. Uh, <laughs> and for the benefits, not only uh, the HR practitioner, but I believe for the nation as well. Mm. Mm. Yes, true, very true. So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I, I can see. I can see there's a lot of uh, particip participants from the beginning, but then when it comes to uh, group discussion, then the participants get smaller, smaller yeah, number. They, they, they left. Yeah. Well, that is okay. Well. Tak, tak berani nak bagi nak 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 bagi apa nak join group discussion. Tak berani ya. They will later, and yeah, sure. uh, they gain their experience, their confidence. They will do yeah. so. Inshallah, inshallah. Uh, inshallah. Yeah. So uh, we, we end our session today. Yeah. So you want nanti, to say something uh, before we end? Our yeah. Session? Nanti all the all the facilitator, please uh, send me the the notes of discussion so that I can compile and then uh, I, um, uh, HR, HRM can share with all the participants. Yeah. yeah. Can we'll do? Yeah, right. from group My apology for, for... Yeah, group two. 
My apology for joining late, uh, Cik Zul and the team. That's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being the one of the moderators as well. Uh, <laughs> can we have a video of this session? Sure. I think the video is available in uh, Facebook and YouTube, right? Lita? Yeah, we actually the link is on uh, on YouTube. I will share the link with all of you so that you can watch it as well. Yeah. Right. Mm. You put it on Facebook as well. Yeah, we put it on the Facebook. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yes. Uh, follow our Facebook and also uh, subscribe yeah. to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Check, thank check you. Thank you. And do you have tentative date for the next month? Uh, last yeah. yeah, last Saturday of the I think twenty sixth. Oh, last Saturday Saturday of every month. Last Saturday of uh, of the month, same mm -hmm. day. Unless um unless we 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 can uh there's a request for. For the participants to change the date, no. Okay. So so far it stick on uh, last Saturday of the month, uh, ten o'clock until eleven thirty. All right. Thank you. Thank you All so right. much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.